Hey there, this is GCTK and today I'll be teaching you how to make a sort of glass effect on anything because this will be a layer style. So let's go ahead and get started. Right here I have this sort of a half yin yang thing and uh, we're going to make it look like it's glass. So let's get started. Um, just open up your layer styles and uh, we'll start with a bevel. Um, let's turn the shadow opacity all the way down and the depth to a thousand percent and then soften it quite a bit um, oh yeah I'd like to uh, turn the fill opacity down as well to about um, 20 20 percent and then uh, I like the contour on it doesn't really make um, a big difference but uh, a small one and now we'll go into satin an angle of about 120 degrees and the uh, straight uphill um, contour um, now you can mess with the contour a bit to get something that you like and then turn the opacity down I'm sort of using the preview as a reference. Okay. Now we'll do a drop shadow with a distance of zero and then size it up a bit with an opacity of about 35 or 30. 30 is nice. And now we'll do an inner shadow, uh, not an inner shadow, inner glow um, with just white. Oh, what happened? What happened? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, just white and um, set the choke up and the size and now we'll set the opacity down about 25 is nice okay and we can set our fill opacity down some more or 10 is nice okay now we'll um create sort of a shine effect so just control click on your you know whatever you're making and add a new layer select your motion tool and just move your selection up a little bit I'm trying to line the two points up together right here so it looks nice okay now I'm gonna select white and go to my gradient tool and select foreground to transparent with a uh, radial, radial gradient effect and then just drag back and then I'm going to select this go back to my um, file and I'm going to invert the selection so that's shift control I and then delete that and then deselect now I'll set my opacity down to about 50 or 40 that looks pretty nice and um, that's it and you can um, you can either delete that or you can just um, alt click in between those layers to um, to uh, what what is it I don't know yeah but it does that and uh, yeah and uh, that's pretty much it so Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, please subscribe. Please. The thing I forgot to mention is that um, since it's a transparent glass, you can go ahead and change the background. And um, we'll use an orange. And it should change with it. Um, that's why I like this style because it's dynamic. So. Yeah. Later.